Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. Turn to the Lord and his strength. Constantly seek his face. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, increase our faith, hope and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Children, be obedient to your parents in the Lord. That is your duty. The first commandment that has a promise attached to it is, Honour your father and mother. And the promise is, And you will prosper and have long life in the land. And parents, never drive your children to resentment, but in bringing them up, correct them and guide them as the Lord does. Slaves, be obedient to the men who are called your masters in this world with deep respect and sincere loyalty, as you are obedient to Christ, not only when you are under their eye, as if you had only to please men, but because you are slaves of Christ, and wholeheartedly do the will of God. Work hard and willingly, but do it for the sake of the Lord and not for the sake of men. You can be sure that everyone, whether a slave or a free man, will be properly rewarded by the Lord for whatever work he has done well. And those of you who are employers, treat your slaves in the same spirit. Do without threats remembering that they, and you, have the same master in heaven, and he is not impressed by one person more than by another. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is faithful in all his words. The Lord is faithful in all his words. All your creatures shall thank you, O Lord, and your friends shall repeat their blessing. They shall speak of the glory of your reign and declare your might, O God, to make known to men your mighty deeds and the glorious splendor of your reign. The Lord is faithful in all his words. Yours is an everlasting kingdom. Your rule lasts from age to age. The Lord is faithful in all his words. The Lord is faithful in all his words. And loving in all his deeds. The Lord supports all who fall and raises all who have down. The Lord is faithful in all his words. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. God has called us with the gospel to share in the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Through towns and villages, Jesus went teaching, making his way to Jerusalem. Someone said to him, Sir, will there only be a few saved? He said to them, Try your best to enter by the narrow door, because I tell you, many will try to enter and will not succeed. 
Once the master of the house has got up and locked the door, you may find yourself knocking on the door saying, Lord, open to us. But he will answer, I do not know where you come from. Then you will find yourself saying, We once ate and drank in your company, you taught in our streets. But he will reply, I do not know where you come from. Away from me, all you wicked men. Then there will be weeping and grinding of teeth when you see Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and all the prophets in the kingdom of God and yourselves turned outside. And men from east and west, from north and south, will come to take their places at the feast in the kingdom of God. Yes, there are those now last who will be first and those now first who will be last. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. To God the Father Almighty, dear brothers and sisters, may every prayer of our heart be directed. For his will it is that all humanity should be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. For the Holy Church of God, that the Lord may graciously watch over her and care for her. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. For the peoples of all the world, that the Lord may graciously preserve harmony among them. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. For all who are oppressed by any kind of need, that the Lord may graciously grant them relief. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. For ourselves and our own community, that the Lord may graciously receive us as a sacrifice acceptable to himself. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. O oh God, our refuge and our strength, hear the prayers of your church. For you yourself are the source of all devotion, and grant, we pray, that what we ask in faith we may truly obtain through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.